Good afternoon. Dr. Arvind Subramaniam, Dr. Raj Reddy, Mr. F.C. Kohli, Mr. Syed Raza, Dr. Ashok Sen, Mr. Nadar, trustees and members of the Shiv Nadar Foundation, members of the Shiv Nadar University Court, members of the Shiv Nadar University Executive Council, our founding chancellor, TSR Subramaniam, Vice Chancellor Nikhil Sena, President Rajiv Swaroop, directors of Shimnadar University, my fellow faculty, staff, distinguished guests, graduating batch of 2015, <laughs> students, parents, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to this milestone moment for the Shivnadar University as we come together to celebrate the first convocation. This day belongs to the first batch of students soon to become our first batch of alumni. We celebrate your signal moment with the world. You are the stars. The world should perhaps know what your alma mater is so that they understand why you are all such standouts. Shiv Narad University is first and foremost a proud student-centric institution. So I will start with our students. Last August, a team of about 20, led by the HRD minister and MP, education secretary, and a host of vice chancellor from a southern state visited our campus. They wanted to know the best practices at the university that they can carry back to use in their education institute initiative. Part of their visit was with our students from their state. They asked, why Shivnada University? Our student council president, Pranay, couldn't wait. He said, and I quote, here we get a chance to explore, unlike any other university, where they lock up the students into initially op opted stream. An engineering student can pursue fields like arts, management, entrepreneurship. Our university gives us space to explore and make the right decisions. I can be anything I want to be. These were, the, there were many other exchanges. The Honorable Minister's statement after the Q&A session was, quote, it is amazing that every student is so confident here. A few years ago, ladies and gentlemen, Shivnada Foundation was looking at the world's best universities for takeaways to start one here. Amazingly, in four short years, Others are now looking at us. How did, how did this happen? Not by chance, but by meticulous design. To start with, our university curriculum is very innovative and comprehensive, superbly conceived by our own Vice Chancellor, Nikhil Sinha. What is crucial, though, is how that is implemented in classrooms. Faculty at many places teach. Shivnada University faculty stimulate, motivate, challenge the students to do their best. We believe, like John Ruskin, quote, the entire object of true education is to make people not merely do the right things, but enjoy the right things. Not merely, to, not, not merely industrious, but to love industry. Not merely learned, but to love knowledge. Quote, where else in India or other countries do writing projects from a creative writing class, our own Vikram Kapoor, that 
end up being pro end up being in a literary magazine and displayed at the po literary powerhouse website. Interestingly, the writers were mostly engineering students, not English majors. Our immensely popular literature, identity, and theater course combines writing with self-exploration and with self-expression. This is what Pranay talked about. No wonder the minister saw what he did in our students. Shiv Narayan University highly research focused. Why? We believe, like Plutarch and Eats, quote, the mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled. <laughs> research is relating yesterday's findings with today's observations, with predictions for tomorrow. Research is looking into the unknown for the unknown. No, it is not just Google search. It is never static. It is dynamic. In a fast-changing world, we cannot afford to be content with yesterday's findings alone. So how good are faculty in research? Well, Shailaja Singh won the Innovative Biotechnologies of the Year Award in 2013. Ashish Gupta in 2014. Just so that you know, all recipients of these awards those years are from government institutions such as Indian Institute of Science, ISERS, IITs, except our own. The last Indian academic to win Nobel Prize was Dr. C. V. Raman in 1930. Not to worry. We have faculty who do deep fundamental work, exciting applied work, find cures for the currently incurable diseases, prestigious publications. We are very confident that Shivnada faculty will win a Nobel in science before the end of next decade. Research pervades all disciplines here. An engineering professor who joined not too long ago is already working on intellectual property issues for his finding. Nalin Mehta, sociology professor, characterizes what I call hit the ground running mode since he joined. Journal articles, books, and is behind a billion screens is one of the top sellers list. National committees, Shivnara social scientists are not avid first responders to 24-hour news. They create news with a considered intellect like the recent labor law reforms workshop did. Thanks to our amazing directors, Dr. Ghosh, Dr. Gopopathyay, and Gopal. That is what SNU faculty culture is and will be in the future. What's great about is all this is the fact that almost all research are carried out alongside students. Students, our faculty are dream facilitators. They work hard for student intellectual improvement, not for just postgraduate students. We have at Shivanadar a unique program called Opportunities for Undergraduate Research. 41 students opted for that research program in its very first initial year. You saw outside how creative they are. Some work is already heading for journal publications. That's not all. Every week you will find stimulating conferences on topics ranging from additive manufacturing to First World War to nanotechnology to labor law reforms with scholars from India and all over the world. That reminds me what a diverse university we are. Now, are you ready for this fact? Suppose our esteemed guests, Dr. Subramanian, Dr. Reddy, Dr. Sen, Mr. Raza, and Mr. Kohli decided when they did that they want to go to the same institution. Do you realize that the only place in India for them is Shiv 
Nadar University. <laughs> Unique indeed. There are also many non-faculty units on campus vital to student success. They usually operate in silence and are hardly noticed. They are, however, as important to student life as faculty. We have almost 100% placement in first year due to stupendous work of the Career Development Center. There is information technology, there is student academic support. I can go on and on. Be it the chancellor, or the faculty, or non-faculty, or the custodian at our university, we believe in what Martin Luther King said, King Jr. said, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets as Michelangelo painted, or as Beethoven composed music, or Shakespeare wrote poetry. That's what we are. You are seeing the first results of this attitude of 2015 graduates. Yes, dear parents, as the African proverb goes, it takes a village to graduate a student. We couldn't have done it and cannot continue to do it but for the foresight and strong conviction of our founder, Mr. Nadar. He believes, I quote, education is and will be the most powerful tool for individual and social changes and we must do all that takes to facilitate it. And how does, okay. <clears throat> now back to the starts of today. You know, I cherish all my times with you, meetings over the years, especially the one with Prashant two days ago, when he went easy on me in basketball so that I could score a few points and feel good. Thank you, Prashant. <laughs> Today is a very important day for all of you. Think about the person you were when you came in and the person you are now. You have evolved and grown in maturity. That the type of education here, perhaps the first time you as a writer had creative control over the script that's called life. It is amazing that you have done, done it so well. We hope with this empowerment, you will write new and bold narratives. As father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change that you wish to see in the world. On this very special day, I would like to congratulate each and every one of you for being a part of this dream called Shivnada University. I am sure you will not only become ambassador of your alma mater, but help write its future script too. I have a humble request for you. At the last Independence Day flag hoisting on campus, many students gathered and we talked about how blessed we are on our way to do things that we dream, dream of and what stark reality is for many outside. Together, we took a simple but powerful pledge that each one of us will be a dream facilitator at least for one other Indian. My request to each one of you is to do so. Dream big, follow your dreams with old fashioned hard work and you will reach your goals. Walha Bharatam, in my beloved, beautiful, Bewitching mother tongue called Tamir. It means long live India. Thank you.